Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Board Game Night with Avac. Hello. Madjin. Yo. Marble's ear. Hi, everyone. And Quill 18. Hey, folks. So today we're playing a game called Pandemic. And uh, I've never played before. Marble's ear's never played before. Yep. So these other three guys are going to school us in how it plays. <laughs> <laughs> Pandemic Pretty is much. one of my favorite games. It's one of those great sort of... Um, uh, what what do you call it? Like the gateway drug, right? Of board gaming, uh -oh. because uh, for people who have only played like Scrabble or Monopoly or you know other sort of conventional board games, and you want to introduce them to the wider world, Pandemic is great because it's actually a really simple game to explain, and it's cooperative, which a most people have yeah. never done before, and b gives you a good opportunity to keep sort of teaching the rules just as you go, and you don't have to worry about being competitive, and the person who's got all the experience isn't going to crush the newbie because you're supposed to work together. So you're saying you don't have to worry about all humans dying. That's, That's right. That doesn't weigh heavy on your yes. mind or anything. Uh, so well, all humans dying tends to happen probably about 75% of the time. Oh, game. good. <laughs> Yay. It's so not we're going to lose game. or we're going to lose really hard. <laughs> yeah. It could I've be. just it got also... a message, lost connection to server. All right. That's Can awesome. Can anyone see me in there? Uh, uh, I don't know. You can try typing. Uh, Why don't you go ahead and disconnect? I'll reinvite you. That's a good start. Okay, that that would be a good start. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then, uh, we'll hope great. it's still working. So tell us more about the game. Okay. Right. So um, every player, so we go sequentially in turn. Every player's got four actions to do in this, their turn. These actions can be used to move around the board and deal with things. The point of the game is there are horrible, horrible diseases out there. We are people who work for the uh, Center for Disease Control in Atlanta. And there are these horrible pandemics going on all over the world, and humanity is going to be destroyed by these viruses. And we have to go and treat people so that they survive, so that we don't lose the game. But at the same time, we have to try to work out the cure, a permanent cure for these various diseases. We win if we find the cure to all four diseases. We don't have to remove all the cubes from the board. We just have to keep the cubes. The cubes represent infected people, by the way. We just have to make sure there's not too many cubes, or we lose. And then we have to just work out what the cures are. And we do that with a variety of cards. The cards represent cities and also have special effects. Like I have a card for Shanghai in my hand. It is an orange card. If at any point one of us is holding five cards of one color, we can cash in those five cards to cure disease permanently. Okay. But you can also use these cards to do other things in the game. And we'll talk about that once we start playing, assuming Avec is still connected. Yes. Or can reconnect. I noticed that there is oh. an AVAC in the game. I'm waiting for an invite from you at the moment. There we go. I will invite you. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So now there's two, two, two AVACs. It's your game. evil twin. Uh, the does, bioterrorist. Does he, yeah. does he need new cards now? Uh, you should still have them. Make sure you've got it and then see if you can I've type in the chat. I've got three cards at the moment. <laughs> three? <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah, you drew one too many, maybe. Yeah, it would seem so. I can see you testing. Yeah. So you should be able to uh, just put the card on top of the player deck in the bottom right corner of the screen. Okay. Bonk. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Presumably, everything is good and groovy. I would hope so. <laughs> so uh, there are a variety of different roles you can play as in this game. Each one have a, sort of a special ability, and they, they change the rules ever so slightly. Um, we could make things easier by hand-picking all of our roles, but I think it might be more fun if we just random. Oh, that's random. Yeah. 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 Yo, just rule. to confirm again, we're not using bioterrorist in this, so nope. uh, that's right. Shen can't be a filthy shine on this. <laughs> <laughs> well, so he technically still can try. Oh, we're playing this in Vassal, a game <laughs> engine, like a board game engine that you can play multiplayer with. And I'll have a link in my description box where you can get it. Hopefully, everyone will do that too. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone, click the random rolls button. Random rolls. I may be field uh, operative. Where is the random rolls? I will be the button. generalist, apparently. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we are. Ha ha, I see. Oh, field Avec, operative, I, I'm already the field operative. So he has to roll again. Okay, so again. Mm. Archivist. I'm already the archivist. Get out of here. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, You're taking all the good ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I think my two field operatives outweigh your one. Oh. Um, <laughs> I don't see really. our... Medic. I, don't see uh, I think I just disconnected. <laughs> yep, right, lost no, connection to server. Amazing. All right. uh, Again, I also Vassal ran up is, the generalist at the same time. <laughs> Vassal is very much a free piece of software, so you know uh, it <laughs> yeah. generally works fairly well. So, so you're saying if there are was, teething troubles, if it was four ninety nine, it'd be a different story. 
no, actually, probably not. Not at four ninety nine. <laughs> and don't forget to take when you take your roll. Don't forget to, to uh, take the little piece inside it. Yeah, oh. and put it in Atlanta. There's little pieces. Oh, we all yes. start in Atlanta, do we? Yes, we do. Okay. Where's these little pieces? Because America. Uh, okay. in the rolls window. Oh, I see. Okay. It's easier to see once like people take their cards. All right. So where do we put those things? You put the your little, little thing. Yeah. You put your <laughs> yeah, pawn in put Atlanta. Your, let's put your little thing in Atlanta. Wait, where's the little dude? It's oh, the card you took. Gotcha. <clears throat> I see it. There's actually a little piece. Do <laughs> I need to awesome. roll again or what? Mm. Uh, you didn't. Your roll didn't actually show up. So just try it again. Okay. Research. There you go. Oh, that's really good there news. Go. So, what are these rolls then? What do they do? Well, the so, rolls we're using. Mm -hmm. We'll start with the simplest. The generalist is very straightforward. So normally everyone gets four actions. The generalist gets a fifth action. That's me. I'm <laughs> just easy. Slightly more. Uh, the medic is very cool. So normally, if there's disease cubes in a town, in in a city, um, you can spend an action to remove a cube. Anyone can do that. But if you're the medic, when you spend an action in a city, you remove all cubes of oh, that wow. one color. Yay okay. me. It's very good. Now, here's yeah. the thing. Once we discover the cure to a disease, so for example, once we have the orange cure, then things change a bit because then anyone who treats a disease in a city removes all the cubes of that color. So basically, everyone becomes a medic once we have the cure for a disease. But the medic turns into what I like to call Jesus mode, where you don't even take an action. <laughs> you just walk through town, and yeah. everyone is instantly healed, without spending a single action. That's just right. I just visually lay my hands right on, their, on their brow. <laughs> You're healed! Mm -hmm. People touch the, uh, the fringe of your robe, and it's just yeah. done. Oh, goodness gracious. Wow. The researcher okay. is excellent in it. The more players you have, the more powerful the researcher is. So, normally, so to cure disease, you need five cards of one color. Uh, in your hand, and then you discard them where there's a research center, and that will cure disease. And the way you tend to do that is by swapping cards back and forth. Like, uh, oh, I have three reds. Does anyone else have any more reds they can give me? Or orange. It's it. Even in in real life, the orange looks like the cubes look red, but the board looks orange. It's just a wonky yeah. printing. Yeah, that's what so, I'm yeah. saying. The okay. board yeah. looks, the board the the board icons look orange, but the cube is red. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So I will interchange red and orange all the time, and I'm that's sorry. That's fine. If it's people but so to swap cards you have to be in the same city as the card itself so for example i have the shanghai card so i can only give this card to someone if we're both in shanghai but the researcher can give cards away no matter where they are as long as they're still in the same city as another player the researcher can just give cards away and so the researcher really facilitates other people getting their five card combo so we're st we're all starting the same city of atlanta that's right. That means okay. right now we could be swapping cards thanks to Mr. Researcher. Yeah. That's right. Although no, no. the okay. researcher well, the can researcher only can give cards. Points. You can't you can take cards from other people if you're in the city of the card name. Oh. But the researcher's special ability only affects the researcher's ability to give cards away. I see. So if the researcher starts, if researcher is player yeah. one, then it's awesome. Yes, yeah, so you have to start handing cards away. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So is this our order of play here? We have field operative and then archivist, researcher, generalist, and medic. Is that our order? I don't know who's um, player one. <laughs> well, I guess I'm player one. I'm player uh, three. We can roll to see who goes first, but... Oh, do we roll? You could just do it in, in alphabetical order of your roll. Um, I would just go on the archivist on who actually took the player. Was Shen's player two. He's the archivist. I'm player four, so I'll go fourth. All right, that works. So, um, the generalist, um, players normally have a hand limit of seven cards. The archivist has a hand limit of eight. And once per turn, you can spend an action to draw your current city's card from the player discard pile. So if you're in a, if you, we will sometimes discard city cards because you can use them to move around faster or maybe to cure a disease, for example. So let's end up in the discard pile. And it looks like the archivist can go to a city and then if that city card has been discarded, he can draw that card. Okay. Which that is, is good for, because we might accidentally, you know, give away too many cards or throw away too many cards. So they might have to rush through an area to pick them all back up to get the cure. Right. Like I had that Shanghai card in my hand. I could use Shanghai on my turn to fly directly to Shanghai, sort of teleport myself to Shanghai. But I would do that by discarding the Shanghai card. And then if we want another 
red card later on to cure the disease, the archivist can just move to Shanghai and draw the card from this card pile, which is kind of neat. Yeah, I've got two red cards already, and I'm the archivist, so why don't I just start heading to Shanghai? You guys can discard your red cards, and I'll just cure it. That's a pretty good idea. I like it. But how do we well, have to tell me? You have to tell me how we cure stuff, though. We discard five cards. Is that it? Don't you have one to call? Be, let's see. I yeah, really and you have five there. There's a science lab. There has to be yes. a research station. So how do you get a research station? So one starts in Atlanta. That's what that little red crossy thing is. Mm. And you can build one in a town by spending uh, the card of the city. Yeah. So if I walked to Shanghai and then discarded my Shanghai card, I could build a research center there. Gotcha. Okay. And I'm the field operative. And it's really weird. So when you cure a disease cube, or treated disease, normally the disease cube just goes back into the pile. Well, instead, I can move it on top of my card. And to, for me to cure disease, instead of spending five cards to cure disease, I can spend three cards and three cubes that are sitting on my card. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's very weird. This is new in the expansion. I've never yeah. seen, I've never played with them before. So you take cubes onto your card, and the card mm -hmm. just sits on the board here, and you put cubes on it. And then you yep. can use three cards to cure the disease yep. and three. Yep. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah so he, that's just, actually he just really has nice. to, yeah, he has to run to an area, cure diseases a couple mm -hmm. times, and then happen to have three cards. So, it's so basically, actually I have to cure fast. diseases with the color of like the cards I have. Yeah, it's probably faster to do it with the field operative than it is to stack up five cards on a research lab. Question. What happens when you cure, not when you cure disease, what happens when you treat a cube? Do you, does the cube go onto your card then? Normally, no. It just goes back into its pile. So it's just the field operative. So that means we might, we might lose the game by running out of cubes if field operative just has a bunch of cubes sitting on them. That's right. Oh, God. Now, with five players, there's only four diseases to cure. So odds are I'm not going to cure more than one disease. Mm. So I'm only going to pick up cubes of a color. Yeah. A well, color so I'm likely to, to actually... So we can each focus sure. on one area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ideally, you spread around but, the world mostly. But that does tend to cause problems because you can no longer trade cards mm -hmm. if you're far, far away from each other. Absolutely true. And unfortunately, we don't have a dispatcher. The dispatcher is probably the single strongest role in the game, especially with more players. And it makes the game so much easier with a dispatcher, and we don't have that. So this is going to be challenging. But I have, I've got high-speed action run, so I can just run all over the planet. Excellent. Trading cards back and forth. So we have to finish the setup here. Uh, I believe I have to start infecting some cities to get oh, us kickstarted. Please do. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> so let, let's see how this looks. Spare us the details. You know, we, we don't need to know. We um, spotted the terrorist. <laughs> so, okay. First of all, I think this discarded infection here. Yeah, there was in mutation cards and we're not going to use them. So okay. we're just going to delete both of those. We're not using those. I'm going to shuffle the infection deck over here. I'm going to mm -hmm. draw three cards. One, two, three. So I've got Ho Chi Minh City, Jakarta, and Cairo. Each one of those will get three cubes of the appropriate color. Three. So I'm going to drag three onto Ho Chi Minh City. Yeah. Three onto Jakarta. And unfortunately, those are right next to each other, which is not what we like to see. Yeah, that's potentially bad. And it is a good way to start. Because they're close together, it is actually easy to babysit them. Yeah. Just like sometimes if you get like lots of these red cards, you're like, oh my God, red is going to explode. On the other hand, it just means you just sit in Asia the entire game and mm -hmm. you stay on top <laughs> of the problem. Yeah. Yep. So now I draw three more. You got Essen, Algiers, and Johannesburg. So these will get two cubes each. Johannesburg is down there. Yep. And Algiers, we get some more black disease. We'll have to name these diseases. Oh, they, um, they I think the, names? The, the black disease should be called Jeremy. Oh, okay, Jeremy. All right. Um, the blue disease I suggest is called YouTube comments. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most evil of all Perfect. diseases. I would have gone with okay. Twitch chat, but whatever. Okay. Twitch chat is also good, yeah. <laughs> uh, the red one would have to be the absolute worst team forum comments. Okay. Oh. <laughs> wow, you guys are really getting, getting it out of your system, right? I just, yeah. Jeremy, I've got nothing against any Jeremy. So, so, for the way Jeremy you know, what, what did Jeremy ever do to you? <laughs> yeah, <seriously. laughs> Show us on the doll where Jeremy touched he you. He spoke in class today, didn't you know that? 
All right, so, so are right. we fully and completely set up? I so believe who, so. I think who it's... are diseases? We have the blue disease. YouTube comments. Yeah. Who's the yellow disease? Jeremy. No, that was the black disease. Oh. Marbazir, this is your call, I think. Yeah. Mm, yellow disease, No idea. Okay, it's called No Nomad idea, okay. No <laughs> idea. <laughs> and then Jeremy, and what was the red one? Steam Forum. Steam Forum, we got it. Okay. Okay. Right. We're good to go. All right, so I guess I'm going to start. So first thing I do is I take my four actions. Okay. So what am I going to do? I don't even know. <laughs> um, probably get myself over to the orange area. There's some nasty stuff. I'm tempted to do the thing where we discard Shanghai. And then I teleport over there and start curing some of the red cubes. And then you can pick up Shanghai later. I like that idea. All right. That's, that's, that's simple. So my first action will be I will play Shanghai. I guess that's not the proper way to discard. There we go. I will play Shanghai, and then I will move there. So that's action number one. Then two will be to move to Hong Kong. Three will be to move to Ho Chi Minh City. And four will be to treat a cube. It's not a very action-packed turn. But you get a cube. Yeah, it's now, do I want to keep this cube? I don't think so, considering Shen's goal is to treat. Yeah, why don't you move over to Jeremy? Shen, well, are you Shen the researcher? I am the ar archivist. Yeah, I'm You're the, the archivist. archivist. Actually, Shen could easily just run over there, hand you Tokyo and Sydney. No, because we and have full to... and full Shanghai. The the, ar you... the archivist Shen oh, would have to be. We'd have to be in those cities to do the swap. Right. Yeah. So I think you're it makes sense for us to try to get the archivist all the red cards, and yeah, so the archivist will likely cure yeah. the red disease, which means I shouldn't keep this red cube. No, I don't think so. Okay, so I just returned okay. it to the red dish. I think you'd have better luck curing um, Jeremy. Could be. With I don't have any other colored cards. It's worth noting, I actually have a special event card in my hand. Yep. Um, okay. I, can sp I can play this anytime I want. And during this turn, the current player may move one other player's pawn as if it were his own. Oh, wow. That's actually yep. quite uh, nice. That's very powerful. Order. Walkie talkies. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's so. basically as if you were the dispatcher. Yeah. Instead of, instead of Quill moving, he could move somebody else. Gotcha. Yeah. So um, you can usually play these at any time, special event cards. But this one, I think, only makes sense if I actually play it on my turn. Yeah, I think it's only for your turn. Yeah. So my turn is over. So then okay. what I do is I draw two cards from the player deck. So I'm going to draw one and two, and I'm going to show us what it is. Okay, I've confirmed Ooh. no epidemic cards. That's good. Red cards, uh, nice. Yeah, red cards. Ho Chi Minh City, which is where I am. Mm -hmm. If someone, yeah. uh, if the archivist can come to me and take Ho Chi Minh City. I believe I can you. get there, yeah. Yeah, that would get you a third card, and you can still pick up Shanghai whenever you want, which is four. Yeah, you're definitely on your way to curing the red one. Oh, uh, just to clarify the special orders, your, mm -hmm. your card, it's during this turn, and so you can play it at any on any person's turn, uh, but it'd be that person who then moves somebody else with their action. Not necessarily. Oh, during this turn, the current player may move one other player's yeah. pawn. Oh, that's quite okay. useful. So it doesn't matter when I play it. It's the, that As if person's it were his turn own. moves yeah. someone else's pawn. That's right. kind of weird. So okay. That could also mean that you play it during my turn where I get five action points, and I can use that to get, say, Shen into to Shanghai Ho Chi Minh City. and yeah. Ho Chi Minh City faster because I can move him faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you have more actions. So yeah. we'll, we're going to keep that one in our back pocket. It's interesting to think yeah. about. Now, okay. the last thing I must do on my turn is draw infection cards. Right now, the infection dum, dum, dum. is two. So I pull two more cards off the infection deck, and we add a cube to those spots. One goes to Taipei. Oh, just one cube? Yep. Okay. And one goes to Sao Paulo. Now, right now, this is all fine, because these are all cities um, that haven't been infected yet. Right? right because every... the ones that have already been infected have been discarded. Mm -hmm. But what's going to happen very soon, when we hit an epidemic, it actually, you take the discard pile, you shuffle it, and you put it on top of the draw deck. So then you're yeah. infecting cities that have already been infected. Gotcha. So they just get worse and worse. That's one of the most powerful mechanics in this game. Yep. Okay. Is it my turn? It is the archivist's turn now. Okay, so I get four moves, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, four we're going to go to Chicago, to LA, to Manila, and then should I go to Ho Chi Minh so we can be right next to each other? That's probably fine. And then on my turn, I can give you my Ho Chi Minh card. 
Perfect. Before I go and do something else. So I that that's all I can right do, right? Of, this is really awkward. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My personal space is being invaded. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll be over here in Borneo. You can do whatever. <laughs> um, so then I have to draw two cards from the infection deck. The first two player oh. cards. The player oh. cards. The bottom one. Yeah. Gotcha. 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 Cards. Now, do we just right click uh, those or just drag them? Uh, I think you have to drag. Yeah, the uh, the battles yes. are all kinds of fantastic. Yeah, go, all right, so these go to my hand, hand right? Yeah. Okay. Holy crap! That's good. You're going to be ready yeah. to hear something. Good. Well, we we're off to a good start you, then. Did you shuffle this deck right? <laughs> <laughs> he shuffled I, it with with let's win. That's how I he shuffled, shuffled it, it perfectly. That's right. All right. So then I then do we do an infection deck? Two of them. Yeah. Okay. How many how many cards do you draw for your hand? You I draw. draw two. Yeah, you draw two. Osaka and Toronto. Is it? Yes. You saw them. Oh, does it show it on the little I, list? I it does, yeah. Okay, yep. so Lagos, I can do that. And go. New York. Got it. All right. And what are and where do these cards go? Just discard. You can right click on them and choose discard. Got it. Done. Okay. That was okay, quick. Nice. Now it is worth noting you can only cure disease at a research center. So we will have to build some out here. Okay. One of the roles is awesome because they can build them sort of anywhere. Uh, for yeah. free. It's really powerful. But here we don't have that, so we're going to have to discard cards to build centers. On the bright side, the Archivist can pull them back out. And, yep. Oh, that's true. So I can I can pull up Ho Chi Minh on my next turn, build mm -hmm. the Research Center with the Ho Chi Minh card, next turn pull up the Ho Chi Minh City again, and then yeah. hear it. Actually, you do know <laughs> the same one. You can, I, yeah, because you'll I'll give you Ho Chi Minh on my active. turn. Right. So on your turn, you can build the Research Lab, grab it back. And cure it. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> you will need a you will need a fifth card, but yeah, I can go up to Shanghai, Shanghai real quick. Shanghai. Yeah, that's, oh, that's fine. fantastic. All right, so whose turn? Who's next? Who is our researcher? Hey, I'm next. I think we're okay. missing my pawn, though. Yeah, there needs to be another pawn. Now I will point out the researcher and the medic. Your pawns are very similar colors. So, yeah. yeah. Marvazir, you might want to grab like something completely different, like pink where, or something. Where do I yeah, grab pink. them? Uh, in the rolls, I I actually dragged you down. Here you go. Grab, uh, how about okay, we grab the operations expert? That nice green. You like green? Yeah. Okay. Green it is. Okay. Yeah, green is fine. There, there you go. go. Fancy. Okay, so green. I'm still quite confused how exactly all of this works. And mm -hmm. okay. It's going to take some so, getting used to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So one action point to move per place that you move. Do you have the action key screen up, Marbazir? Uh, yep. I do. Okay, so all each one of those things costs you one action, and you have four actions. Yep. So, like on Quill's turn, he used a card to fly there. Yeah, I did the direct flight. And on my turn, instead of doing that, I just moved four tiles, because that's fine. So, Marv, you have a yellow card, and so do I. You have a good start. Oh, you could say things are getting serious. Um, so if we head south, we could always... Where's Kinsasha? Oh, that's way over there. Thinking of a good place to drop a research station. Oh, wow. You know what I noticed? As the archivist, if I'm standing on a city that's already been discarded, I can pull up that city's card and use a charter flight to go anywhere in the world. Yep. That's yep. insane. So one thing, the researcher, I don't know, you may currently want to give a card away. You can give a card or cards Me. to the medic and to the generalist if that furthers our goal. Yep. Okay. Yeah, if you want to hand, if you hand the yellow card to me, then I can run south into... Uh, you're yellow. player five here? Yeah? Yep. Okay, and that will use one action, right? So that's one action, yep. giving one yellow card to Mud. Okay, that so worked. I'll give you that card. Ah. I'm not sure Ooh. if that worked. Yep. Right. Got it. <laughs> right, so now I can move three times if I want to? Yeah, you have three yeah. actions left. And so you might is... want to go through New York and grab the blue cube and then head down towards Algiers area. Possibly. Start cleaning up that mess. Yeah. Okay, and that grabbing a cube is also an action, right? That's yes. right. Yeah. And it puts it back in the cube circle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll go to New York. And where do I put it now? Uh, uh, I think if you right click on it, you can put it back on the dish. Yep. Okay. There you go. There. And it's so, got its own counter, so... So that's two actions, you get two more. I, so I think, no, that, that's four. That was four. Oh, I'm sorry. Four. Yeah, that he was four. He gave a card away, he moved right. twice, and then he removed a cube. Gotcha. Okay, and yep. what now? So, take two cards. Two yeah, cards two cards from, from the, the bottom. Player cards. 
Okay. Oh, our oh, first epidemic! No. Oh, no. Marble. Way to go! God, <laughs> yeah. Marble, you're so bad at this game! Don't look at me! Us. All right, so get, epidemics are the dramatic cards in here. There are actually yeah. five epidemics in the player deck, which is sort of medium low difficulty. Mm -hmm. You can change the difficulty of the game based on how many epidemics are in there. Yeah, and so, uh, the robot just went off too. Yeah, perfect. The timing, Marb. <laughs> <laughs> now so we let's lost. resolve this epidemic, <laughs> and then we'll finish Marb's turn, and then we'll yeah. we'll put a cut in there. So step yeah. one of the epidemic is we increase the infection rate indicator by one. So yeah. that's this bit here. Okay. This controls how many cities get infected at the end of everyone's turn. So, so right now two. it's still two. We're okay. still fine. Next is infect. We draw a card from the bottom of the infection draw pile and put three cubes in that city. So. How do you draw from the uh, bottom? I'm trying to remember here. <laughs> the bottom of infection. Oh, I wasn't supposed to move the whole deck, I think. Um, oh. That's right. Oh, there's a pile for bottom. Oh, oh yeah, there is. How do I... And we can't... Hmm. Just draw from the top. I mean, whatever. Well, it matters. <laughs> it does yeah. matter. Oh. So I can move, like, the whole deck back one at a time. Oh, oh, okay. That's kind of annoying. That's what I mean, in this case, it doesn't matter because we haven't exposed it. I'll do it between cuts. But let's say, right now, because this, this whole deck is fresh, it doesn't matter. So yeah, Moscow okay. is what we're going to get. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Moscow gets three cubes. I'll go ahead and put that one. Yeah, two. Jeremy is a bad right. disease. It is. Jeremy has been a very, very bad boy. <laughs> yep. Sorry, any <laughs> Jeremy's out there. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> you guys have ruined our world. <laughs> so then this gets discarded. Step three is to intensify. We shuffle the discard pile and put it on top yeah. of the draw pile. Oh, no. So we shuffle the discards. Then I put it on top of the infection deck, which is there. So Infections now the cards intensify. we're going to draw from the infection deck will be cards that have already been infected. Oh, okay. we got to clean this yep. up. Oh, this is getting bug. disgusting. Yep. And then you, well, then, discard, then you discard now, the epidemic and Mumbai. Oh, it doesn't. No, Marbles here still gets Mumbai. Yeah. yeah. And actually, I believe yeah. it's to draw a card to replace the epidemic. Oh, yeah. What if it's another epidemic? That would be oh, very need to draw one I'm more. actually not sure. If, I'm not sure if you no, get to replace it. No, I don't, no, I I don't think you get to replace yeah. it. No, you yeah, don't so Marmarzu only gets one card, unfortunately. Okay. okay. Yeah, otherwise, bad things could happen. Yeah, that's absolutely true. <laughs> okay. Well, I got two Jeremy's in my hands now. Okay. Good. But, you and you and Kyle can fix it. Now, uh, Marmarzu yeah. starts to infect two cities. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Yeah, and now. it's going to be two cities no. that have already infected. No. Yep. Yep. Go so ahead, I pull two cards from the infection deck? That's right. Yep. Okay. Oh, no. All ah, Jeans no. turn into no. Jakarta. Explodes. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's ah. really good. GG. So, Jakarta already has three cubes on it of one color, which is the limit. So, instead of getting an extra cube, I'm going to put a cube on everything connected to it, which is Sydney, okay. Chennai, Bangkok, Ho Chi Minh City. Oh, Ho Chi Minh City already has three cubes on it. No, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Let's go through. Let's go through. That doesn't, that doesn't explode in an outbreak. Uh, you took, oh, yeah, you no, no, took you one took, off. You, you oh, did one I take one off? You did. Yeah. Oh, I didn't that realize we been finished one. Horrifically bad. Okay. So it does, so get, it does get one. one. Ho Chi Minh goes back up. Don't cover me up. The outbreak counter. Nobody puts Shenorita behind the infection. Shenorita. So the outbreak counter goes up. So that's yeah. the first outbreak we've had. That's yep. right. Okay. Now, the outbreak counter seven. doesn't do anything by itself, but if we get the eight at the end, we lose. So yeah. for the Algiers oh, card, does that only add one cube? Yes, it does. It's add one oh, to Algiers. Thank goodness. Where is there? It is. Thank goodness. So we're not completely screwed um, just yet. Not yet. It's certainly Jeremy's it's bad. Jeremy's getting particularly <laughs> virulent. So. Here's yes, the thing he we know: <laughs> in the infection deck. Moscow, Cairo, and Ho Chi Minh City coming up next. are still in there. Oh, no. yep. If yep. we don't get a cube off of those ASAP, mm -hmm. we're going to outbreak again. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. I like well how we went, from a, we went from a really nice start to an absolute... Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Infectious intensified. For, and that's the that's thing. It, it, we have to prioritize getting the, the... Anywhere with three cubes, we have to get one off ASAP. Well, next, next turn is the medic. So hopefully the medic can get some magical miracles done. There you go. Well, I guess we'll put a cut in here, and then we'll see exactly what uh, yep. Jesus Medic can do for us. All right, it's every, everything's on your head, Jesus Medic. You can <laughs> help. You can do it, hey, Mac. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll try, guys. I'll try. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. everyone.
Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. See you next time.